Hello everybody, how's everyone doing? Are we all good? Fantastic. So, I can't remember the last time I've done a video like this, I think, yeah. Um, after this video, by the way, I'm going to do a review of Young Justice, um, which I watched last night, so that's coming up after this video. But this video is pretty much a catch-up of news of what's been happening in the Smallville side of things. And um, I've just finished watching... Uh, a number of videos from my friend Cayman Stowell um, who you guys need to check out um, he's done one video where he shows off his massive and I mean massive collection of Superman stuff and you guys think I've got a lot of Superman stuff no this guy this kid's got a museum full of Superman stuff trust me one day he's gonna open a museum the Cayman Stowell Museum of Superman merchandise as far as I'm concerned yeah it's gonna it's gonna rock as far as I'm concerned but uh, his latest video was um, coming up with news regarding the um, 18th episode of uh, season 10 of Smallville and already we've got the title of the um, of that of that episode which is Kent um, now it wasn't just Cayman that came up with this theory but someone else did as well and that is the fact that the episode is called Kent could it be a reference to Superboy, aka Connor Kent, or in his Kryptonian name, Con L. Um, and it kind of got me thinking. I thought to myself, well, hang on. You've got the Lex clone story, you've got Lionel Luther back in town, there's going to be an episode of where Clark loses his powers again. Um, so, what's to stop them from doing? the Connor Kent angle because the, the the ingredients are there and I think Cayman and my other friend that I was talking to have pretty much got it spot on that I think and it's possible it's doable there's no reason why they can't go down that route I think it's possible that you could have Connor Kent on the show I mean for me though I think it's going to be a bit surreal and a bit weird that we're watching a show about small about a young Clark Kent becoming Superman and you're gonna bring Superboy into the show if you see what I mean um, but yeah it's all there I don't know if that's what they're gonna do but that's the theory that came in and, and this other guy had um, it's it's all there um, the other person that I spoke to didn't want to spoil me with, with the details but uh, just watching Cayman's video now, I've pretty much got where where he was coming from, um, and it, it it's there. That's all I'm saying. The signs are there. Whether or not they they're going to go down that route, we don't know. And if they do go down that route, how are they going to play it out? That's the question. How is it going to play out? Um, what else have we've got? Um, the the cast for the episode Booster. Uh, we've got Booster Gold. Ted Cord and Blue Beetle, all the the three actors playing them have all been named. Um, a guy called Eric Martzolf is playing Booster of Gold. Um, a kid called Yaron Brandt Bartlett, if it's Yaron or Jaron, I don't know how he, sp how he spelled it. He's going to play Jaime Ramez, who plays the Blue Beetle. And Sebastian Spence is going to play the original Blue Beetle, Ted Cord. I'm guessing that Ted Cord is going to feature in this episode more as a flashback than um, a present day. Um, thing because obviously we know that Ted Cord is actually dead um, in the comics that is so this could be something going back you know flashbacks between him and Booster you know back when they were such massive best buddies because Booster Gold and Blue Beetle together they are a pair and a half that's what I'm going to say they really are a pair and a half um, Jeanette Schwartz is going to be directing Kent the 18th episode so that's going to be interesting um, new cast Season 10 promo images have been released. Um, they kind of look like um, re released or photoshopped images. You know, the CW marketing team are really crap. They're not that good. They should get the fans. To do. I've seen some fans who have made some awesome promotion videos, promotional pictures. And I'm sorry, CW, but you should sack your staff and hire these guys because they're, they, they're doing 10 times more than whatever you're paying your fuckers over there. I'm sorry, but they are. So yeah, get it sorted. Um, like the Superman, like the Smallville um, final season ten poster with Clark um, standing there on top of the S shield and the reflections actually of Brandon Routh. Okay, come on, 
give us something new you know that's not new that's not original it's it's yeah it's pointless you know we need something fresh and original I mean even the, another one um, they've released another season 10 poster again with Clark Kent standing with his hands in his pockets and in the background is a shadow of him in the Superman outfit it's just a shadow but again it's Brandon Ralph they're using Brandon as a as a template. I'm sure Brandon's happy with the publicity at the moment, but using Brandon as a template is not really my 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 way of promoting the show. You know, I know that Clark said that he was scared, and um, not Clark. Tom Welling has said that he's he's frightened to wear the suit, and I have this horrible feeling that he's going to be CG'd into the suit rather than physically wear the suit because he can't wear the Superman Return suit. It's a totally different size because it's Brandon's suit, it's, it's what, it was made specifically for Brandon so Tom Tom is, I think Tom is taller than Brandon and he's you know slightly bigger build than Brandon as well so um, I don't think the suit's going to fit him, he's going to need a new suit he's got to have, the, he's got to have his own suit you know you can't reuse something that someone else has used for, for, from a movie to a TV show yes they've shown the suit um, in the first couple of episodes in, in, in Lazarus but we need something new, we need something fresh for Tom and if he's going to wear that suit it's got to be something new and I don't want it to be CG'd either because I know that say for uh, Tron Legacy when I was watching that movie I read the interview that um, Garrett Hedlund had with uh, Empire Movie Magazine and it was said that his his entire suit like when he's on the light cycle the only thing that wasn't CG'd was his head everything else was the entire body the bike everything was CG'd his suit was CG'd and everything just his head wasn't so I don't want the same for, for Tom I want Tom in a suit I want a teaser picture of Tom in the suit it doesn't have to be a full body shot you could just have like his head and part of the shoulder kind of thing to show a bit of the cape that would do me fine you know and then we can say this is what's to come for, for the last sort of you know last episode of Smallville ever then I'd be happy with that. That'd be great. That'd be perfect. Um, what else have we got? Uh, guest star. A guest has been revealed on Scion. Um, I'm not giving away much of the spoilers. I've not read any of the official descriptions for any of the episodes as well that are upcoming. Um, so if you have, fantastic, great. Keep it to yourself. If you've watched the preview clips, great. Again, keep it to yourself. I'm just going through what what's been uh, said. Um, what just just some of the tidbits that have been mentioned um, Beacon preview images though I have had a look at that and it's good to see Ineto Tool and John Glover back in the mix I can't wait for Beacon I'm actually I'm a little bit excited for Beacon I'm, I'm you know when I read and saw the images I said, I said on Twitter I might actually be excited about Beacon might I know I'm definitely excited about Booster um, and no doubt I'm sure I'll be excited about the, the series finale depending on how that plays out um, you know I've had my res reservations about what's left in the season and I know that I did a video last week which caused a bit of an uproar but in all fairness to be fair I'm sure that the, the writers are coming up with, with, with whatever they can to really wrap up Smallville to wrap up the show um, my excitement level is not as high as it used to be but with that saying that I'm still there's still a level of excitement in me to say yeah let's just see what's left let's just take a step back let's see what the show's got left there's going to be surprises in store I'm sure especially with clone Lex we know that although Rosenbaum has actually said on Twitter that he is not that he hasn't spoken to anyone regarding Smallville I don't know if that's a publicity stunt, if that's a ploy, if that's a psychological reaction kind of thing, if he's just playing us fans to say, okay, he's not coming back, but in actual fact he has been talking to the producers, but he's just not allowed to say anything. Even though Osiello released information saying that um, they that the producers are cautiously optimistic, you know, Michael has said different. Again, how is that going to play out? How How is that going to come about in the end? We don't know. But, as I say, fingers crossed I'm sure the rest of the season is going to be great um, yes there's been a lot of close stuff but we'll see what happens in the rest of the season um, someone had an interesting theory saying that because Chloe put on the Doctor Helmet fate and um, put on the 
<laughs> Dr. Fate Helmet, sorry, I completely turned that around. Dr. Fate Helmet, that she pretty much knows the outcome of what's to happen. But here was another thing. I read the Human Scorch's review of Icarus. Yes, he, he hadn't done it um, after the review, the episode came out in December. But he released it last week, uh, or this earlier this week, no, last week. And I, watched, I read it last night. And um, the very end of the review, you've got to read this because the very end, he's got a picture of Bizarro when he's giving Lana a hug at the very end of. Uh, was it Gemini, I think it was? I can't remember which episode, but where we thought it was Clark, but it was actually Bizarro. And it just basically said, if only, or something like that, was, 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 the, uh, was the quote underneath the picture. And I just thought, what if? You know, just what if? What if? That's all I'm going to say on that. Just what if? What if Clark Kent isn't Clark Kent after all? And do you know what the interesting thing is? If you've watched um, Lois and Clark, New Adventures of Superman, you will remember that Lois Lane was not Lois Lane that Superman got married to or that Clark Kent got married to. It was in fact an android that Lex devised because he kidnapped the real Lois Lane. So, who knows? Who knows? Okay, who knows? Anything, I think now, that's just reaffirmed my faith that anything, absolutely anything, is possible on this show. Okay, no matter what we've had in the first 10, 11, season, 11, 11 episodes of season 10, I think now, from, from collateral to the very end, anything is possible. Okay, the spoilers that we've got are pretty much all close and clearly orientated, but because my mind has been so focused on the whole Clovis side of things that I've been getting really agitated about it, that I've actually stopped to really think about why I love this show in the first place, now it's come to light as to say, right, dude, seriously, there's plenty more. I'm sure they've got a lot of um, tricks up their sleeves. I'm sure they have, and it's just a case of wait and see, but we'll see what happens. Um, Collateral is back this Friday. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to watch it live because I'm still busy very busy I've been busy lately playing DC Universe online on my PC over there um, and also been busy um, with other stuff I've actually got the week off work this week so I can catch up with uh, with gaming um, so yeah <laughs> but seriously um, sorry that this video has dragged on for a bit too long but you know what I'm like I have lost a few subscribers um, after my last update video but hey I wouldn't be a reviewer if I didn't criticize the show for its faults. That's the whole point of being a, re a reviewer and a critic. You've got to give the faults. You've got to give the bad points no matter how great it might be for other people. If it's not good for me, it might be good for you, but if it's not good for me, it's my video, my opinion. I'll say what I need to say about it. If people don't like it, no one asks you to watch. You know, I do these videos not just, you know, for, for myself mainly, but to give my opinion and my views about what I like and what I don't like about Smallville and if there's something I don't like, if it's really irritating me, then I will voice it out. There's no point in me hiding in the shadows anymore, whereas in the past that's what I did. I never really vented my frustration about certain things like, oh that shouldn't be there or this shouldn't be here or such and such should not should not be together and this, that and the other. But whereas now it's really been in our face kind of thing, depending on how you look at it, and that's how I've looked at it that it's been thrown in our face, it's been thrown down our throats and I'm thinking, ugh, I'm getting suffocated here. So I had to frustrate, I had to vent out and that's what I've done. So, yes, apologies, but then again, not really apologies. You know, as I say, my video, my views, if you, if you don't like it, by all means, do your own video. Give your own views. I mean, someone actually um, gave me some serious hate. Not only did they give me some serious hate, but they found me on Twitter and used the N-word as well which promptly, promptly made me block them. Um, then I found out a day later that said person actually removed their account on YouTube. So really, who's the bigger wuss? Not me, you sunshine, not me, that's for sure. Anyway, 
I'm going to leave it there, gang. Thank you all for watching. I know it was a long video. I do apologise, but hey, that's what happens when you don't do a video in relation to Smallville for quite some time. You catch up on all the news and everything else comes comes together. So, yeah. But, like I said, check out my friend Cayman Stoll. He also did a video interview with my other friend, Rocket DeLong, a.k.a. George Bailey. Um, I haven't watched it yet, but I will watch it very soon. And um, who knows, maybe one day, the three of us might even do an interview together. We'll see. Anyway, cheers, good night. No, not good night. It's good afternoon. It's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Good night, whatever. See you.